Chris told you he's uh, he's like me. He's pretty old. <laughs> but there is a difference. This this guy defined the expression older than dirt. <laughs> I'm just old as dirt. <laughs>subsequent maneuvers all went without a hitch. Then the next day, April 20th, Young and Duke undocked the lunar module preparatory to landing, leaving Mattingly in the command module. Ken Mattingly left the confines of the command module cabin, 173,000 miles from Earth. As he orbited the moon, he had not only made visual observations, he had been operating a complex series of experiments. Many of these had returned instant data to Houston. Two had taken thousands of high-resolution pictures of the lunar terrain. Now. Mattingly retrieved the film canisters and made his way back to the cabin with them as Charlie Duke stood in the hatch to help him. The first step which will occur will be the attaching of uh, the biomedical sensors to their bodies. Uh, Ken Mattingly going in the room first, followed by Henry Hartsfield. Uh, they're being helped into their uh, boots at the moment. That's uh, Commander Ken Mattingly. This is shuttle launch control, T minus two hours, 30 minutes, 13 seconds, and counting. And the astronaut crew of Ken Mattingly and Henry Hartsfield have emerged from the suit-up room and are moving into the elevator in the ONC building 
to begin their trip down to the ground floor. Security and George Abbey, the chief of the office. Ken Mattingly and Henry Hartsfield getting into the Astro van uh, for the trip out to the launch pad. John Young accompanying them. Uh, John Young, the commander of the first flight of the space shuttle. Uh, we have main engine ignition. Four, three, two, one. And we have solid motor ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of America's space shuttle on its first mission, and we have cleared the tower. Houston now controlling, mission control confirmed, roll maneuver started. 20 seconds, the rough looks good. 26 seconds, roll maneuver completed. 30 seconds, one nautical mile in altitude, throttling engines down to 65% now, it's program. 36 seconds, plot board status looks good, mission control. 42 seconds, Columbia now three nautical miles in altitude. George Abbey, the flight director from Houston, opening the door. Uh, T.K. Mattingly coming out and followed by 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Discovery, the first flight totally dedicated to Department of Defense mission. And it's cleared the tower. Tower clear. The vehicle now turning around to the proper azimuth to go down track on this flight. Being welcomed by uh, Director of Flight Crew Operations, George Abbey. Jim Buckley, uh, Orrin Schreiber, Ellison Onizuka, Tom Payton, or Gary Payton, and uh, the uh, Commander uh, T.K. Mattingly, this will be Mattingly's uh, last flight. And the mission commander, uh, T.K. Mattingly.